I'm Bill, I'm with Daniels Manufacturing Corporation. Today I'm here to show you how to gauge the AF8 and the AFM8 using our G125 Go No Go gauge. Using the Daniels G125, we're going to gauge each of the tools, the AF8 and the AFM8. The green side indicates the Go, the red indicates the No Go. The mill standard for this gauge is the M22 520 Slant 3-01. Following the instructions on the gauge will indicate to you that when you're using the AF8, set the selector setting to number 4. When you're using the AFM8, it will tell you to set the selector setting to number 8. Pick up the tool for the AF8, make sure the handle is fully closed. Use the green side for go, which should fully pass through the indenters. Remove the gauge, turn it over, and align the no-go gauge in between the indenters. And a properly tool, gauged tool, should not allow the indenters to pass. Following the same method with the AFM8, again noting that we are in selector setting number 8, make sure the handle is fully closed, use the green side and the go, and pass them through the indenters. Remove the gauge, turn it to the no-go side, Align it directly in the center of the indenters and it should not pass. Now I have just checked both tools which indicate that the indenters are in good working condition and pass the go, no go qualification. To recap, always remember to follow the information on the gauge when checking the calibration of your crimp tools. And remember, never crimp on the gauge itself. Thank you for watching this video, and remember, you can find these American-made tools at www.dmctools.com, and remember to follow us on Facebook and Twitter.